Detroit 92nd Newberry Film Festival. Hi, I'm James Kennedy. I'm the author of The Order of Oddfish, uh, but I'm not here to talk about my book. I'm talk here to talk about these great movies that are made by kids that tell the entire story of Newberry winning books in about 90 seconds. Some of these movies are impressive. Some of them are hilarious. I'm really honored to share them with you today. And hopefully you'll be inspired to make some movies for next year's film festival. And here to help me talk about, show these movies is Michigan's own, the author of Spaghetti on a Hot Dog Bun and The Little, the little Linebacker and many other books, Maria Dismondi! Hello, 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 hello. James. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. You never explained to me that this Newberry show was about movies. Yeah. <clears throat> John Newberry Medal is a serious award named after a great man. I thought we were going to have like high-minded conversations about literature, and I even brought my notes. I was planning to give my award-winning lecture on John Newberry. It only lasts about 90 minutes and No, 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 Maria, that's not necessary. This, this show is already a celebration of the Newberry. And you think John Newberry would approve of this? Of course he would approve! What do you know about John Newberry? Uh, um... I, I can tell you. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, John Newberry, um, let's see. He uh, lived from 1713 to 1767. He was an English publisher of books. He wrote and published the very first children's books, such as A Little Pretty Pocket Book. Stop reading from Wikipedia! Okay. I'm talking about the real John Newberry. John Newberry was a man among men. He could out-drink, out-fight, out-read, and out-write anyone. Oh, sure, John Newberry was a, a brawler, a scoundrel, a rogue. But you know what? He was also a little bit of a saint. John Newberry was no saint. He was an old mud double from the bottom of the old Mississippi. John Newberry was half wild horse and half cockeyed alligator, and the rest of him was wild snags and red hot snapping turtle. Woof! John Newberry could drink a gallon of whiskey and still shoot the tail off a pig at 90 paces, cock a doodle doo! John Newberry ate every book he ever read. <laughs> when John Newberry sneezed, punctuation marks came out. <laughs> you know those lions in the front of the New York Public Library, those statues of lions? John Newberry carved those with his own bowie knife. You know what he carved them out of? A lion! <laughs> when John Newberry died and they opened his body for the autopsy, the coroner found within him a fully formed E.B. White. <laughs> do, do, do you know how the Newberry Medal got its design? <laughs> Everyone knows that! John Newberry punched a piece of metal and the design is the shape of his fist. John Newberry once made a pretty hat out of J.K. Rowling's skull. <laughs> but James J.K. Rowling is still alive. That's because John Newberry is also a time traveler. <laughs> in fact, he's in this audience right now, cleverly disguised. <laughs> Everyone, look to your left, look to your right. Both those people are John Newberry. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, all of this is true. It still doesn't change the fact that if John Newberry were here today, he wouldn't have time for these silly little movies. Oh, yeah? Well, what would John Newberry do? What would John Newberry do if he were here today? He'd probably blow a mind or two. That's what John Newberry did. Newberry was the father of children's literature. He also fathered Iron Man, Loki, Hulk, and Thor. Newberry was a bear of a man who lived out in the wild. Raining close with his mighty fist whenever he got riled. And that's what John Newberry did if he were here right now. He'd probably start a fight or two. That's what John Newberry did. Bye. 
Friday, then it's on. And guess who wants some movies?